Hello, and welcome back to our channel, the hub of innovation and technology. If you're a tech enthusiast or simply curious about the future, you're in the right place. Today, we're going to embark on an exciting journey into the world of artificial intelligence and robotics. We'll explore Google's latest advancements in these fields and discuss the profound implications they'll have on our future. If you're as thrilled as we are about this topic, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and share this video with your tech-savvy friends. Together, let's delve into the dawn of a new robotic era. So, without further ado, let's get started. Have you ever wondered how far we've come with artificial intelligence and robotics, and where it might take us in the future? We're living in a time where advancements in these fields are occurring at a breathtaking pace. Just recently, Google's DeepMind team unveiled a trio of groundbreaking developments that are setting the stage for a new robotic era. First up, we have the AutoRT system, a game changer that uses visual and language models to give robots a comprehensive understanding of their environment. Then there's the Robot Constitution, a set of guidelines that ensure the safety of humans and animals by advising robots on tasks to avoid. And lastly, we have Sarah RT, a new neural network architecture designed to amplify the capabilities of the existing robotic transformer RT2. So, what does this all mean for our future? Let's delve into the details. Google's DeepMind Robotics team has recently announced three remarkable advancements. Let's delve into each one of these, shall we? First up, we have the AutoRT system. This ingenious tech uses visual and language models to help robots understand their environment. Imagine a robot that not only identifies objects around it, but also suggests tasks based on its understanding. Quite groundbreaking, isn't it? Now on to the second advancement, the robot constitution. Drawing inspiration from Isaac Asimov's Three Laws of Robotics, this constitution provides safety prompts for our robotic friends. It's designed to prevent tasks involving humans, animals, sharp objects, and electrical appliances, ensuring that our interactions with these machines remain safe and friendly. Finally, we have two additional advancements that work in tandem to enhance the decision-making abilities of robots. The SARA RT is a neural network architecture that improves upon the existing robotic transformer RT2. It's like giving the robots a new brain, better equipped for processing and decision-making. Complementing this is the RT trajectory. This technology helps robots perform physical tasks more effectively. It's like the muscle memory for us humans, allowing robots to understand and execute complex physical actions with ease. These advancements have been trialed over seven months, with 53 AutoArt robots successfully operating in office buildings. With these leaps in technology, we're inching closer to a future where AI bots seamlessly blend into our daily lives, handling tasks with the same efficiency and care as a human would. Among these advancements, the robot constitution stands out, but what does it actually entail? This is a question that many of you might be asking. Well, let's dive into it. The robot constitution is a set of rules, or more accurately, safety prompts that guide the decision-making abilities of robots. It's like a moral compass, but for machines. Its primary function is to ensure robots avoid tasks that could potentially cause harm to humans, animals, and even themselves. This includes any interaction involving sharp objects and electrical appliances, which could lead to accidents if not handled properly. At the heart of this constitution lies the influence of Isaac Asimov's three laws of robotics. For those unfamiliar, these laws, proposed by science fiction author Isaac Asimov, are a set of ethical guidelines to prevent robots from causing harm. The first law states that a robot may not injure a human being or, through inaction, allow a human being to come to harm. The second law states that a robot must obey the orders given it by human beings except where such orders would conflict with the first law. And the third law states that a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. The robot constitution is an embodiment of these laws, ensuring that AI-powered robots adhere to a strict code of conduct. It's a significant stride in the journey towards making robots more integrated into our daily lives. However, it's important to note that this constitution doesn't just protect us. It also protects the robots themselves, ensuring they operate within safe parameters, avoiding any tasks that could potentially lead to their damage or destruction. In essence, the robot constitution is more than just a set of rules. It's a testament to Google's commitment to creating a symbiotic relationship between humans and robots, 
It's a pledge to make robots that are not just sophisticated and efficient, but also safe and reliable. This constitution sets a new standard for robot behavior, ensuring that our future with AI remains safe and beneficial. Because at the end of the day, the goal is to create a future where humans and robots can coexist and work together without fear of harm or misunderstanding. With these advancements, one can't help but wonder, what does the future hold for AI and robotics? The possibilities are as vast as they are intriguing. Consider this. The integration of systems like AutoRT could mean robots that understand our world on a level never before seen. They could recognize objects, comprehend language, and even suggest tasks to carry out. Imagine a future where your robot assistant not only tidies up your home, but also anticipates your needs, perhaps even before you do. Moreover, the robot constitution introduced by Google DeepMind is a significant step towards ensuring safety in our interactions with AI. Inspired by Isaac Asimov's Three Laws of Robotics, it provides safety-focused prompts for robots, helping them avoid actions that could harm humans, animals, or even themselves. This could lead to a future where our interactions with robots are as safe and seamless as they are with other humans. Now, let's not forget Sarah RT and RT trajectory. These advancements could mean robots that are more efficient in decision-making and understanding physical actions. Imagine robots that can perform intricate tasks with the same, if not better, precision and accuracy as a human. In essence, these advancements bring us closer to a future where AI bots can handle household chores, office work, and even tasks that require a high level of expertise. They could become our assistants, our companions, and maybe even our colleagues. While we don't know exactly what the future holds, it's clear that the line between science fiction and reality is becoming increasingly blurred. And as these advancements in AI and robotics continue to evolve, they could redefine our everyday lives in ways we've only dreamed of. While the future of AI and robotics is still unfolding, advancements like these assure us that it's a future worth looking forward to. As we've seen, the future of AI and robotics is ripe with potential, but what does the public think about these advancements? And what ethical questions do they raise? Public opinion on AI and robotics is mixed. On one hand, many are excited about the convenience and efficiency robots could bring to our everyday lives. On the other hand, there are concerns about job displacement, privacy and security. These are valid points that need to be addressed. Additionally, there are ethical considerations. If robots can understand our world and make decisions, to what extent should they be held accountable for their actions? The robot constitution is a step in the right direction, but it also opens up a Pandora's box of questions. For instance, who is responsible when a robot makes a mistake? Is it the robot, the programmer, or the company that produced it? These are complex issues that lawmakers, ethicists, and society at large will need to grapple with as AI and robotics continue to evolve. As we delve deeper into this new era, it's crucial that we navigate these challenges with care, ensuring that the benefits of AI and robotics are accessible to all, while mitigating potential risks. It's an exciting, yet challenging journey, and your thoughts and opinions matter. So, don't forget to share your views in the comments section below. Now let's wrap this up with some key takeaways. So, what have we learned today about the future of AI and robotics? We've delved into Google's AutoRT system, which brings a high-level understanding of the world to robots, enhancing their decision-making abilities. We've explored the robot constitution, a safety measure to ensure robots avoid tasks that could harm humans, animals, and electrical appliances. We've also touched on Sarah RT and RT trajectory, further advancements aimed at improving robot efficiency and understanding of physical actions. These innovations are more than just advancements. They're the stepping stones shaping our AI and robotics future. As we continue to navigate this exciting era of AI and robotics, remember, the future is not something we enter, but something we create. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.